going to continue the series on the Vesica Pisces and links to Phi. And um, basically we're going to draw a Fibonacci swirl. And, um, and uh, we're going to draw a... Yeah, um, this is a Fibonacci sequence and we're going to draw a swirl which gives us uh, this spiral but also uh, the proportions of Phi. Um, not only eventually, but, but at the beginning. And uh, phi is 1.61803, etc. It's this really special ratio number in nature, and it's um, also linked many ways to the Vesica Pisces. Now, using a ruler, I've already drawn a grid of squares. It's not necessary to draw these on just to help um, visualize the scales. And, and from this spiral, and we're going to use this grid and begin with a, uh, the vesica. We're going to set the compass to the edge length of the square. That's a little bit out, out but that's okay. Just to show where we're beginning now. You can use these grid lines to show how the vesica is now is enclosed by a rectangle of 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, pi. And starting with this square here, which of course all squares are 1 by 1, Follow the pencil and highlight the circle that's already there. Now we're going to extend this square down. So now we have a rectangle which is one wide and two high and continue with the circle of the vesica Pisces. So we've used the geometry we've already followed and we've begun a um, Fibonacci spiral. Now let's quickly go over again. We began, we began with this square one by one, so a one by one square, Fibonacci numbers one by one, and then we move to one by two, one by two, the Fibonacci numbers now. Continue this spiral. We're going to use the same rule that applies over and over again, and the grid is merely um, just to help visualize. So now we, whenever we create a one of these rectangles, the first thing is to set the compass to the longest dimension of that um, rectangle. So it's one by two, so we need to set it there. And we've already seen this direction of the spiral. So that's where we'll put our pen, pencil, point there, and now we draw this spiral, and I'll highlight that. So beginning here, and now the rectangle which surrounds this is the original. 3 by 2 as defined by the Vesica Pisces. One, 2 by 3, 1 by 1, 1 by 2, 2 by 3. This will repeat now, repeat the same, set the, the longest 2 by 3, the longest is the 3, using the spiral direction. This is enclosed by a rectangle. Of one, two, three, four, five. Why one, two, three? The previous rectangle was three by two. 
before that a two by one and then a one by one. One one two three five. One one two three five. And follow the grid to see what's happening and now set the compass again to five units, the largest. And then we can see it's following the grid pattern just as a um, proof of where we're moving. So now one 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 two three Two, two, three, then three, five. And we have a rectangle. It's five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, one, two, three, five, eight. This is how you draw a uh, Fibonacci spiral and if I was to continue I would simply and draw another arc down and then follow that spiral around uh, I've had to, just to show how it begins so if you draw it I'm beginning with the smallest square possible follow this around and you'll get quite a nice arc and you'll come closer and closer to the magic number of 1.618 so just a quick, um, using the Vesica Pisces as the first proportions, we created a two by three rectangle. From that we're able to start with the one one, and then the two one, two three, three five, five eight, and follow the pattern along. Now, um, okay, yeah, so there's lots of stuff on uh, Fibonacci numbers and phi, but uh, this is just a quick demonstration of how we've how it is in nature and how we can do it with some basic geometry. Thank you.